we might as well jump to the troll king immediately. We need to get a level up so we could get learn new spells though. And if there's a good chance we'll have to fight against the troll. Meteor strike or infectious flame. That's what I want the meteor strike, I guess. Can't really use it though, but uh... Hmm. Infectious flame on the other hand, we could start with immediately. Uh, meteor strike could be an opening move. Like start the fight probably. I don't think we get to cast over nothing. Right, because when you're out of combat the action point cost doesn't matter. I don't think we have the ability to learn additional master level abilities on the fire front. Uh, we could get rid of the immolation. The good thing about immolation would be that it's fairly cheap. The bad thing is, it, it really does nothing that we already can't do otherwise. It's a slightly better version of a spell we already have. So, I think I'll just ditch it. We'll need to find another skill book. I think this was more or less the plan I had in the first place, so... So we have an uh, area effect that jumps from target to target, then we have our big strike. Uh, the player more or less does exactly what the other spell was supposed to do. Damage is slightly weaker, but there is not much of a difference. Witchcraft scrolls or abilities of that high level we haven't even encountered yet. We were supposed to take some kind of a new magic form at this point too. All, yeah, it, it has to be Geomancer because I need to know what Geomancer actually gives to the party. I'm seeing abilities called Invulnerability for example, but I'm not sure if it's Geomancer or not. Could be something completely different. Don't want to give the shackles of pain to the guy, to the fighter. It's not necessarily bad, it's just. I'm not shit about it. Blessed it. Chance to hit increase by 30. I doubt, I doubt I'll ever really use this. It's uh, it's fairly costly to cast, but at the same time I don't actually have the ability yet, so that's probably it. Okay, any other skill books that I will use? Uh, I have enough that I'm more or less happy with them. Can you get a fire element going? I could afford that. We don't strictly speaking need one. We already have the undead ones, so I don't need a... The, if someone else would learn fire, they might get more out of a fire element. As long as every character would have the ability to summon some. The Geomancer thing would be good for that. It's an obvious level spell to summon a spider. Fire Absorption Shield. Enchant self or ally with Fire Shield. Fire Shield absorbs fire damage until it breaks. Immune to burning. Uh, I think I can learn that.
Avatar of Poison. Immune to being poisoned. Yeah, these type of things would have been useful a long time ago. Create a bomb. Two master level abilities. Coup de Gras. Where's the other one? Shadow stick. That's something I probably use quite often. Anything else? We have to do something here. Something with the book, anyway. And it only brings this book to the ray of light that pierces the magic mushroom ring. Uh, do I uh, actually need to just... The Seven Grant Abundance! That seems promising. Might as well take the mushrooms too. Also, pumpkins and apples could be combined to form some kind of potion. I need to test that. I've totally ignored the possibility of uh, such combination problems. Thunder. Nothing but rubbish. Nothing but witchcraft scrolls even. But I access everything now. Has the rat changed too? Quick! Do what I do. Use the passage all the way to the left of the cave. That'll keep you safe from these big bruises. For a little while anyway. I can flip under the palisade, but I guess someone your size will have to bust it down. So stick to the left. Oh, well, I'll be a son of a troll. It's one of those big fairies with that wings. What are they called again? Hairs? No. Herrings? No. Humans! That's it. Helpful guide to shaping armor. Now other of you fairies has been here since him. Go ahead, go ahead, <laughs> go right along. I'm certain you'll be treated just like he was. <laughs> what did you mean by treated just like he was? Nothing, nothing. We didn't want to spoil the surprise. Spoil it. That's a good point you make there. Oh, why not? I'll tell you. 
It's our king, you see. He doesn't like visitors. Tell me about your king. Well, he's very conscientious, our king. Counts his gold with the diligence of a child building castles in the sand. For just like the tides will sweep away their sand battlements, so the king is bound to lose count. And just like the child will build a new castle the next day, so the king is certain to start counting anew. Interrupt him, though, and like a child you'll throw a tantrum. Or like a child, you'll drag your innards from your belly besides. Remember, if the king or any of his guards so much as see you, they'll take you for a thieving gremlin. Just ask Maradino. What happened to Maradino? Uh, okay, we need to get destroy the primitive palace. Also, it's it seems like it's another thing here that it's a treasury technically, but there's not actually a treasure that I can access. What? I don't actually want to fight any of you. Why the fuck am I fighting a uh, rabbit anyway? There has to be a other, another way to do it. I mean, finding a troll is one thing, but uh, why a rabbit? It's also named rabbit. Still here, are you saying? Well. For just interrupt him now, and remember. Careful, mate. Trolls ahead. Who are you, Sir Rabbit? I'm Timfred, mate. Badass buck. Wood? Yeah, he's the rabbit with the uh, two cows I encountered earlier. Uh, do you know anything about trolls? Damn as carrots, that lot. But they'll whack you something fierce. Want me to distract them, mate? Not just right, yet. right, light him up. Uh, hopefully he'll distract this one. Okay, he seems to be changing size, so we probably can't attack the palisade while he's looking. Actually, talk with everyone. Careful, mate. Dharma's carrots, that sure. On it, mate. Here we go. Uh, I didn't actually want that. Wrong troll, you're distracting, Mr. Rabbit. Here's a sequence he follows, just goes back and forth. So we might get a single attack in at best. I'm not sure what it would be. And what I don't understand why the rabbit is also fighting.
Maybe I should look what's happening in the other path. This will get me a little bit further, so basically past this one area where the rabbit seems to be acting as a potential decoy anyway. So would it be easier to just use the rabbit? Not seeing any... So this would be more or less trying to navigate through the guard patrols. Um, is that a... Ardino? Just a guy. Okay, multiple trolls on troll. Also just kill all of them. Team Fred doesn't like that though. How the hell are you supposed to get through the palace side then? I suppose we could get through once then break it from the other side. Patrols don't seem to be that tough to evade. Very slow, don't just turn around all that much. Still... I haven't seen the troll here at all, right? So a thief could bypass them, but I don't see how I could. Not with the whole team. Do I want to pick up one? Gotta do something. That's the one we need to bypass. The rest are fairly trivial to play as sparse if we just go to the left. But I don't understand the patrol pattern and he goes back and forth here so getting past him is going to be a tough one. This might be an opportunity. Careful mate. Stammer's carrot on it mate. What exactly does it do? What's up, mate? Huh? Who there? Your mama, mate. Oh, you mock my mama. I'll whack your summer fears. Huh. I'd like to see you try, mate. Please, sir.
Uh, that troll just disappeared. So, potentially we can bypass one. Or there's one less to patrol, so there's going to be an old. For his final feat, the wizard Maradino learned what happens when you cross the Troll King. The final lesson from our mysterious teacher. Now, tread yeah, lightly we're with you. There are plenty more stakes that might inspire old King Gungir. We're trapped here, so if he doesn't... Yeah, we're basically boned. Something's changed with their patrol patterns. I don't recall the patrol going this way. They're, they're basically, if I want to go without fighting through this, there has to be an opening at the center. Where I can go through here when the troll is going to go here. Yeah, that particular guard troll. There's no other way, but this is coming exactly at the same time, so it can block that attempt. Same time, the bunny is now gone though. So, yeah. else we can do? It's cheaper to just walk up with him now. Some armor is just too cumbersome to wear. Beating it into your shape on an anvil can help smooth out the kinks though. Improved metal armor, right. New recipe. So any metal armor on an anvil improves it. Not sure that was any new, uh, new, new news for me, but... Uh, Oh. 
So, what does this get us? We need to go here. So, this. Okay. It's. It's uh, vulnerable to crushing. I think we need to seriously think about the fact that we might actually want to take the crushing weapon out of the here. It's a little bit more cumbersome to wear, but. Uh, I mean, use rather. Yeah, still. One point extra to attack, but they have little vulnerability to it. On the other hand, we get a lot of mobility out of this one. But how much resistance do they have in general? Ah, you can't spot shit. We'll do 50% more damage. So yeah, there's a minor change. Exchange will get a lot of damage. We lose some vitality too. <sighs> but 50% extra damage, that's that's quite a lot. We can still afford to use these special abilities too. What I don't see is how the hell are we going to get past here without actually getting into a fight. So I think this sneaking around thing this this isn't not this is not gonna pay out for us. This would be some kind of a thief situation. I think we are much better off just trying to engage the trolls in the time. Right, we need to go here. And you can use these to uh, stones as uh, areas where they can spot. But yeah, I don't think there's really a way to get past the king like this. Yeah, I, this this shit is not going to work. Job for a thief, but if we're gonna move with the entire group, you know. I don't have invisibility, I don't actually have any sneaking ability either. So I think I'll just rather go with the killing, killing, killing part. When he stops, I'm going to drop some meteors on his head. Burning lights. He lost almost a thousand health. He has some resistance to fire too. Uh, might be better if we bring it. No, 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 no. Troll God's turn is next, so I was thinking we might bring him closer, but. Just burn. Regain 765 vitality. Wow. Medium healing potion. Yeah, because it's tied to your total amount of health. Uh, can we touch? No heals for me. Let's 
this is gonna hurt, but not me. Really. Oh fuck, the king is coming. Hello! Okay, this is the worst possible situation. Now all the trolls are coming. Well, at least life is gonna be a little bit more exciting for us. Miss and absorption. Basically, he almost took nothing out of this. Yeah, this is uh, this went badly. And I don't know if the Tenebrium weapon is worth it. Just looking at the literal damage with it is just pathetic. Two hundred ten armor, which is nice. But this was supposed to be. 50, with 50% 50 more damage from crushing weapons, and it was fucking pathetic. Should not be we did just stick our head in there is to pick out the guards individually. Into the King counts. Starts from the beginning. So I guess it was more or less just bad timing. We've we've actually abused this with the ice king. If I go Everything continues to work in the background without the turn based system. So the fight there doesn't matter. Okay, this is a little bit more complex situation than I thought. Teleportation, if at all possible, might be our key to success. Basically, we could remove it from the thread area. There's at least but one patrolling troll that comes here. I think that's the one. So we shouldn't attack him until this patrolling guard comes to us. It's more or less going to be in a situation where no other troll is going to take part in the body. Opening with the meteor shower wasn't a horrible idea. We need to prevent his heat. Uh, face your own. Yeah, that's not too bad though. Um, ah, he's burning happily. I I'll have to go for a stun attack of some sort. I can't freeze him. Um, 
right now pile as much shit on it as you can. I also need to get rid of the fire. Heels for you. Lock his path to us too if we want to. If the king comes here, then we're in trouble. But I'm, uh, I would still, at this point, I would still fight them. Fight them. Still about 600 points of damage. It helps. Grab teleported, but uh, since there's so many trolls moving about, I want to save the teleportation. Might get into a bad situation where I need to get out of. to delay. Do a back step, don't think it's really worth it. Adult antler and some gold. Yeah, not too impressive. Incoming troll guard. Let's see what it does.
but his physical defenses should be reduced now. New the knockdown. Not exactly a new surprise. Not in any danger. We can basically pretty much do whatever we want. The troll is also gonna attack the undead decapitator because of the taunting, so there's really no danger to me no matter what I do. I'm gonna burn and lightning bolt his ass. Fun, so we'll get three hits. Might as well go for extra damage. As long as he's torn, that he's still no threat to us. A taste of the gathering storm. Double stun. Okay, who gets the finishing blow? Here? So, right, as long as we don't miss with the king, unless we're very certain we can take on pretty much every guard in the surrounding areas, we'll be fine. It seems for his final feat, the wizard Maradino learned what happens when you cross the Troll King. The final lesson from our mysterious teacher. Now, tread lightly, will you? There are plenty more stakes that might inspire old King Gungir. Okay. Not particularly worried about the king. A rapier plus movement chit set to cause stun effects. Nimble, wonderful sarong of will power. Dexterity, will power, poison resistance. This could be useful later on. Uh, no, I'm not so sure it's all that useful. Because no one really has all that much will power. So a little bit doesn't make much of a difference. Still, it's not like it's gonna be a negative by any means. 
little bit helps. Uh, where's the goddamn weapon? Dexterity, water resistance, regeneration, or dexterity, really power, poison resistance. Yeah, I'll take a little power. Uh, 15% extra resistance against Beard, Mute, Charm, Stun, Curse, Load, Petrified, Decay, and Touch, Mark, Death, Remorse, and Shackles. Of Stun being probably the most annoying one. So, we had a weapon. There we go. It's, I think it's much better than the offhand weapon we currently have. It has more normal damage than the air damage, then extra movement, then stun effect. The other one has low effect and some points. We also had a punch dagger. It's probably not level appropriate anymore. But chance to disease and stun. We were waiting for level 15 to be able to use it, so yeah. This might be a good time. We would have two air extra damage weapons uh, that have both 20% chance of stunning the target. I'm not sure what disease does. I think it lowers some attributes. Just taking the equipment situation. We've had a couple of longer fights now, so we're pretty much at half durability with some equipment. We need a 30 points below what it should be. You don't have gloves at all. Okay, that's uh when the fuck did that happen? Carabina status effect lowered some attributes so we lost the gloves we were wearing. Also I seem to have items that I don't recall ever looting anywhere. A one-handed morning star. Boots of sneaking. Uh, gauntlets. Mm, could be some kind of crafting gauntlets, I suppose. If we go here, it's pretty much just, uh, we have to fight the king. I'd like to take the one last guardian that's here on this virtual rug. We're gonna have to fight against both of them if we do anything here. Bit dangerous to do it this way, but I don't really see an option. Well, not a good one at least.
doesn't have a good chance of uh, resisting stunning attacks. He'll resist at them, but uh, don't change the fact that he probably shouldn't have. Same with the freezing. He just got one. We got three attempts and he had less than 10% chance with each of them. No, lower willpower first. If he has any kind of uh, status effects like stuns coming this way, he's not gonna be able to resist anything anymore. A chance to resist decaying touch minus 30%. Knocked down. Go for some backstabs. We'll see how our stunning weapons work this time. Do I take a hit? Problem with taking the hit is that. I might actually be, be knocked down. Okay, why does it... Why are you getting the goddamn hit? That's what I thought. Resist stun. Not bad. Hmm. I think Sun is probably our best bit still. Yep, minus five percent chance to resist. Yeah, he's basically going to be stunned from this point on. Medium healing potion. I think we should try to maybe focus some more on the weapon state effects to some extent. We can pile up those uh, willpower type or any kind of reduction attributes and just through spells and normal attacks. Even cheaper novice level attacks basically get what we want. The shocking touch for example is fairly good because the stun effects last for two turns this has. And uh, if we have reduced resistances on the other side, the lower intelligence meaning lower chance of actually getting stunned the stick wouldn't matter too much. It's a it's a single point in Aero Theorge. It's iner it synergizes with the fire, so it doesn't remove the burning or the warmed up status effects. I think we're gonna just kill the king. And we open up with the brain willpower. If only Gungi had three more coins, then he finally forget dark past. Sweet. 
Uh, just a troll guard. Not too bad. Minus five percent chance to resist that, so they they're in no position to really uh, resist us. Might be tough to take him down because he has such good defenses, but. Uh, I don't think that's going to be too big of a problem. We'd also go with the armor decapitator and not home with them. I don't think that's a bad idea because we need the other troll to more or less stick to this location to allow us to use certain other abilities we otherwise could. So I need to stop them from healing. So either stun lock or I'm not sure what the other option is. Okay, the oil does. I guess we're slow technically. Movement speed reduction. I need to get rid of the, the shitty little troll before I can take on the big guy. to keep the king stun lock then at least for now. <laughs> That's pretty much the best I can hope for. While we quickly take down the other tree. So uh, do I need to get out of the oil? I sort of do. They must start healing on the ones. And knocked out. King should be able to do something, but it's taunted, so it actually isn't taunted anymore. That's uh, that's a problem. It's nothing anymore. That is the big problem. Still going for the stun, even though my other things might be better. The king has a decent damage potential. I can't test it. Yeah, no, it's has an iron uh, stone skin of some sort. Mm, not enough action point to actually attack me. Right. Vectors plane. I 
This could be bad, but let's see how it works. It was fine. Not particularly impressive, not particularly terrible. Taunting can only be used once per combat, that sort of sucks. Still need to get the troll guard out of the fight. Save your points. I think I might be able to kill it. <laughs> yeah, that, that laughter doesn't sound healthy. Okay, do we have any real problems here? No. The big problem might be that there's quite a bit of blood now all over the place, so stun effects might not actually go all the way like I imagine. Weak, so he'll do half damage. Thank you very much. Uh, healing wise, we're not in a terrible situation, but probably could use a heal. Far away. I... Well, we could get a stun to work, but I think it, the ch likelihood of that isn't that high unless I get to reduce his uh, resistances again. We'll, we'll let him attack once. We'll do half damage, we'll be fine. Yep, 100 points of damage and he's stunned. Because see, Madora has uh, armor that stuns people that attack him. Something along those lines, I think. Green will come. I don't think healing is going to be much of a problem. He has status effects stacked on him. Uh, you are but gettling for my triumphant blaze! This will reduce his physical protection. If it works, it did not. I don't think it matters, though. So we can probably cause another stun effect. <laughs> Not if then this is stun. Yeah. So he's not gonna be doing anything. <sighs> and more stun. Fight is basically over. Yes, his ability is to resist stun is basically done. So everything that has a chance to cause stun will the cause. Earth damage heals, excellent. Uh, anything else I can do then? I could, I suppose, try to prevent him from healing. I sort of think that's a waste of our ability though. Well, 
once we got him in the sound life it doesn't particularly matter what he does or doesn't. In the footsteps of the brawler. And stunned and diseased. What does disease do? Because it doesn't really matter what does it do. We're at full health, more or less. No longer protected by the iron skin or whatever. So I think I made a bit more fast out of this than was really necessary. I've just killed them all uh, in the game. Parts for kids. Literal gold. I wonder if you could have placed gold on the table for him to find. A couple of extra gold pieces and we basically... He was talking something about three extra gold pieces and you get over some kind of a childhood trauma or something along those lines. I wonder if that would have been an option for a skillful thief. <sighs> Upgrade for some equipment. I think we got an upgrade for the bow too. Axe and bow. Both have been basically worthless with the two upgrade items. I wonder if it's chance based. Like, not in the sense that it's a uh, it's 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 a chance based that are you gonna get the upgrade parts or not? But more that it's chance based where you can get certain upgrade parts, like uh, here you would be guaranteed to get an upgrade 3 part for one of them. But which one isn't, it's basically random. Same time they are unique, so maybe not. It was for the axe. Sure, there was another part for a boo. Let's go. Dexterity Lore Master. Chance to set lowered armor for two turns, 50%. Not bad. I'm also wondering is the level requirement. I mean, the, the level the same when you actually combine the items. So the longer you wait, the better special abilities you would get. I don't know. How the looting in these games or loot system works makes it sort of stupid to wait for those though. So in that sense it doesn't matter. Strength, chance to set crippled status. Uh, there's nothing bad about this. Stomp mode, it's particularly good either. That's sort of the item kit parts problems. They're fine. 
but that's a terrible thing if you are expected some kind of a special effect. And they're more or less guaranteed a guaranteed weapon that drags behind the advancement curve that you usually get these things. There's nothing terrible about them, but there's nothing particularly good about them. A divine wand. Perception, leadership, blind status, summon air elemental. Drawn says to critical hits, decent amount of air damage. Um it's fine. Drug. Another uh, divine saran. Water resistance, earth resistance, tenebrium resistance, willpower. So resistance, 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 and status effect resistance. Sounds very good to me. Uh, was there more? Might be. Wasn't exactly. Or uh, yeah. I haven't been ordering the items for a while. Two-handed fine claymore or blinding. It's, it's, it's fine claymore, that's exactly what it is. Though I'm not confused. I feel like I probably should have more items. Okay, the sarong and rope are worthwhile. Movement plus one. Inflict burning on contact. Inflict stunned on contact, that's uh, not bad. Definitely a better arm. More mo mobility, too. Resistances versus and hit points versus resistances and little power. Oh, okay. Adora, you take it. Yeah, 30 hit points plus 13% fire resistance versus what? 30 or oh, 60 points more or less. Uh, different type of no, no no 50 points more or less different type of resistances a little bit more plus wheel of power yeah resistance has jumped up quite nicely and status effect defenses basically 30 percent bones <sighs> Okay, what the fuck are you running there? You're still supposed to be part of the team. Quick! Do what I do. Use the passage of Okay, where's the other rat? Pretty sure there was another rat here. Pretty sure there's also another troll in here somewhere. Careful, comrade. I think I sense a sorcerer in yonder shed. Don't go rushing in there now. Study the trolls' movements, and you'll manage to figure out how best to sneak around them. The last thing you want is one of their clubs to the skull. Yeah, I think this would have been much more relevant when we didn't have this much fighting in the potential. Also, I'm a little bit concerned in the sense that in order for us to get here, we did. We did have to fight a fairly tough fight, at least compared to what the trolls offer here. So I'm sort of uh, confused why you couldn't, why wouldn't you just kill all these? Because you do get extra experience, extra loot, so it's always pretty much a good thing to do it. I suppose it's an alternative way to do things, so I'm, I'm not. Complained in that sense May that it's a unnecessary thing. I'm just wondering was that the intention behind it or is there something else? Huh. 
I'm also very incredibly disappointed about the mountains of gold I can't actually do anything with. Inert Draconic one. Love grenade. Painful plate. Like, this isn't a treasure trove. I can see your treasure trove, but I can't access your treasure trove at all. That that annoys me. But I can take your one light a golden cup out of there and sell it for, uh, what, the, a handful of gold coins. <sighs> Just pisses me off. Immunity being muted, plus one intelligence, plus eight coins. Go have some uses for that. I'm more or less hunting down the actual loot items I can take from these piles of gold. Looks like it's slim pickings for me. There's a plate, a cop here and there, but you can't touch the actual gold. The mountain of gold. <sighs> It's I I don't get it because it more to me it's just as the frustration. Bit. I mean yeah the other option is to not have any loot, any gold. So it it looks like what type of treasure trove is this? There's no gold around, but this is this is any better? This is just frustrating, but in a different way. No no the first one is disappointing. This is disappointing and frustrating. This is worse. It, it sort of shows you the incompetence of the people making the game. Because they couldn't figure out a way to actually put in the loot without probably kind of having some balance considerations. There are very few games though that do it well, so... Neverwinter Nights 2, I think, has a more or less a solid grip on how you want to do it. It's, it has a dragon trove of all a pile of gold. You can't loot it. However, it, however it's sort of uh, tied to the stronghold system of that game. You can get access to the money, but you have to basically send out people to get it. It is a massive pile of gold. You can't just put it in your backpack and hold it out. So, they do it in that way. It's a quest, and depending on how you perform in the land security, how tra well trained your men are, uh, it depends how much gold you can get safely down into your coffers from that place. So, it's done in that way. Bodybuilding plus one, Tenebrium resistance. Uh, bodybuilding plus one will provide more health than the direct health point benefits. Cursed and crippled. The bales will go to someone differently. Bodybuilding will also protect frontline fighters really well. They usually get crippled and all that type of shit. Strength and lock picking. Uh, strength and hit points. Uh, what about you? Initiative and hit points. Okay. We'll lose some initiative, which is bad. There's no getting around that. Plus one two-handed. Why, why am I not even using this? Because it, it it increases your chance to do critical hits a little bit, but that's the only thing it will increase. Yeah, two percent extra plus to critical hit chance. That's just pathetic. It's not worth an item. Wait, who the hell has to build this? Body building? No. Body building on its own is just not good enough.
Well, we got a couple of good things out of it. Light gold cup, golden plate. Shame there isn't anything else golden here. Could've used the gold. Honestly, I, I don't even think that. We, we really don't have all that much use for the gold. Not anymore. At the same time, I haven't exactly gone and visited shopkeepers in a long while, so they could have gotten a lot of good stuff at this point. So I don't know. Is this it? This was it. No, there should be Tenebrium somewhere. Mm, four mines. I might as well get everything out of it. I need to. I need to turn some silver ore to silver ingots anyway. Is it all Tenebrium? I think that Tenebrium ore is likely the best reward you could hold for this. I'm mostly interested. Uh, the weapons seem okay. I, I don't. I don't know about that. But what exactly would uh, Tenebrium armor look like? Is it even possible to do it? I mean, I don't recall seeing recipes for custom-made armor. It's always uh, always a weapon. I should go and get the pumpkins and apples from uh, the wizard's secret. Uh, what was it? Secret garden in the cave. Okay, I guess this is it. Not a terrible area by any means, but I'm not super impressed by it either. Okay, so I see you would have an easy access to a place where I can smelt the ore. I want to try the pumpkin tomato combination. 